Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can install a free plugin to customize the variation swatches in a WooCommerce website. Let me show you an example of the variable product. This is a variable product and here you will see some variations of this product. The first variation is the color variation and you will see a drop down box from where you can select the color variation for this product. For example, we have blue, green, orange. These are the variations for this product. Now, instead of showing a drop down box, you can customize the variation and you can show the actual colors for the variation. So the visitor will be able to see the actual colors instead of the drop down box. In this video, we are going to install a free WooCommerce variation swatches plugin. If you are using Astra theme, you will see the option here variations by cart rows. I have already published a video on how to customize the WooCommerce checkout page using the free cart flows plugin. I have also created some sales funnel using the cart flows plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch those videos. If you are using the Astra theme, you will see the option to install the plugin here. Otherwise, you can go to plugins and click on add new. And here search for variations by card rules. This is the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce by card rules. So we are going to install this plugin. Click on install now and click on activate. Now let's go to the product again, refresh it and let's see if there is any change. All right. Now you will see that the drop down boxes are changed to buttons. All right, now let's go back to the dashboard and under WooCommerce, you will see the option variation swatches. Click on it. Let's go to settings. And these are the basic settings enable for the product page, enable for the shop page. So if you want to show the variation swatches on the product page, you need to enable this one. By default, it is enabled. This is for the shop page. So these variation swatches will be shown on the product as well as the shop page. If you do not want to show this on the shop page, you can disable it from here. Global styling. These are the global styling swatch minimum width, minimum height swatches. So these are the style settings for the swatches. So we will go through this later. All right, let's go to the product again and click on edit product. All right, so this is the product page. Let's go to attributes. This is a variable product. You will see it here, variable product. Go to attributes and we have one attribute here that is the color. And this is particularly for this product only. This is not a global attribute. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a global attribute with these colors. You can add many different colors. So let's go back, go to products and go to attributes. And we are going to create attribute for the color. So name it as color. Let's name it as colors. A slug will be colors. And here you will see the option variation swatches. And from here we are going to select color. As we want to show the colors instead of the drop down or the buttons, we need to select colors option here. The shape will be square, round or circle. So I'm going to select square. And this is the size. Let's click on add attribute. So we have created a new attribute. This is a global attribute. You will see it here. Now we need to configure the terms. Click on it. We are going to add colors. Let's start with the blue color. You can leave the slug as it is and it is going to come up later. And let's select the blue color from here. So this is my blue color. Click add new color. Let's add a red. All right, so this will be the red. So you need to play with the color settings. So I'm going to add some different colors here. All right, so we have got some colors here. So these are the global colors that we can choose from. So let's go back to the product page and let's refresh it. Let's go to the attributes. This is the color. Now we need to remove this one so that we can use the global one. So click on remove. Here you will see the option add existing because we have created it. So this is the attribute colors. Select this one. And from here, you will need to select the colors that you want to show. So I'm going to select blue and let's select orange and green. 
so these are the colors that I want so I'm going to keep it as three colors click on save attributes all right now for the size I'm going to add new one it it had size so I'm going to add the attribute for this size all right so I'll keep these attributes here for the size Let's go to variations. So now we have created the variations with the new settings, new colors and the sizes. Let's go back to the page and refresh it. And here you will see the variations, blue, green and the orange. So these are the three colors that we have selected. If I can select blue one and I can select the variation. The size variation will be mid size. So if you want to change the style settings, you can go back to the dashboard, go to WooCommerce and go to variation swatches. Go to settings, go to global settings. And from here you can change the width. Let's make it 35. Height will also be 35. So it will be like a square border radius font size. Let's make it 15. This is the border color disable attribute effect. Disable out of stock. All right, let's go back to the product page and refresh it. Let's go back and it, it is not showing the changes. So let's go back and go to the attributes. Products and attributes. Go to colors. And for the style we have here, we have 24. That's why it's not showing colors, colors, colors. Let's leave it as it is on default. Change the shape to default and update it. Let's go back, refresh it. And now you will see the size is increased here. Now, if you go here, you will see other options type label or the image so if you want to replace the color with the image you can use the image also the label will be simple button with the label on it so this is how you can use the free plugin to customize the variation swatches in a woocommerce website that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.